Yep. It's happening again. Oh shit. <laughs> Here we go again. So, I don't know guys, this is like the 1,000th time I have to undress myself for camera. Today, however, we're doing that for Space Jam. So I'm going to go back into my basketball outfit. We actually have an entire basketball outfit, guys. Don't look. Oh, yes. How cool is this? Hey guys, welcome back to Copycat Friday. My name is Jordy from CineCam.net and today we are going to recreate the lift off and very awesome dunk from Space Jam. So without further ado, let's dunk into it. <laughs> Lorenzo is on a holiday, so it's only Timo and me for this week's copycat. And we actually want to show you multiple effects this week. So that's why Jordi decided to jump in and give us a hand. We already know how we want to do the effects, so we don't need any testing. And that's why we can shoot our sketch right away. And let's do this. Ah! Catch, Janet! <laughs> the red is here, Jordi. I oh, yeah, the red is here. Catch, red! <laughs> Let's go outside. <laughs> That's why we don't have nice things. What's wrong with him? Now. You're probably wondering, like, why is there a hoop to our building? Well, that's because we once installed that for a video where we kind of recreated uh, Dude Perfect throwing a basketball from a way long distance. It's pretty cool. And now the hoop is still there and we never used it in between. So yeah. The first effect is going to be this liftoff jump with all the huts on the floor. And for this effect, we're going to need two shots from a tripod. One empty shot and one shot where the talent is running towards the camera and on one point jumping in the air. Then as an extra, you can shoot in slow motion, giving you the possibility to speed ramp in post-production. For example, your talent can run at normal speed, but once he jumps up, you can speed ramp the clip, making it go slow motion and making it all more epic. So when I jump in the air, we kind of have these huts game elements on the floor and you might think that is a ton of work, Jordy. Well, actually, no, we can just go over to Storyblocks today's sponsor. So I just search for hut element and look at that. We get hundreds of hut elements on Storyblocks and with an active subscription, you can download unlimited of these video assets. But you know what? Apart from these huts, which Jenik is going to explain in a moment how to incorporate that into your jumping video, we can also find other things. For example, animated background. Look at this, this 80s retro futuristic sci-fi scene. I love this one. And check this year out, guys. After Effects templates. There are thousands of After Effects templates going from transitions to color presets, sound effects, creative titles. And check these awesome cartoon effects out right here. How cool is that? Ready to use? Just drag and drop. Oh, and maybe you need high quality 4K stock clips. Well, of course, Storyblocks has them too. Whether you just need a quick insert shot to spice up your edits, or maybe you're unable to shoot at a certain location. Well, no problem, Storyblocks has them. Even if you think about the craziest things like people on Mars, well, check it out. You have tens of stock clips from those same people on Mars. Well, it's probably not really Mars, but you get the idea. All right, guys, now it's up to you. Go check out the first link in the description down below to check out Storyblocks and start downloading right now. Now let's go back to Janik. Okay, we have our jump shot and we have a lot of HUD stock clips. Now it's time to create our effect. With our jump and empty clip in a composition, we start with adding a HUD element. Because we shot everything from a tripod, we don't need any tracking to place our HUD elements. We just have to make it a 3D layer and with the 3D controls we can place it on the spot wherever we want. Now of course keep adding and adding more HUD elements. We animated some of them, adjusted the colors with a tint effect, added a glow to it all, and of course, we also adjusted the blending mode to screen for all the hood layers. Eventually, we created something cool just like this here. But how you create the look of this hood is completely up to you and your creativity. Next, we want to place our talent in front of some elements, creating more depth. So from a certain moment just before the jump and where the talent is entering the hut, we made a cut. Then we selected the clip after the cut and we rotoscoped our talent. 
Now this rotoscope clip we pre-composed and placed it beneath every HUD element. Now to enhance the jump, we decided to animate our talent a little bit up, making him jump even higher. But okay, let's create that depth in our effect. Take your rotoscope talent clip and duplicate it above one HUD element. Then set the track mat option of that element to alpha inverted mat, and now your HUD element is cut out. However, it's probably cutting away too much of the element. So select the rotoscope duplicate clip and create a mask on this clip around the part of the HUD element that needs to be cut out. And voila! Now you just need to do this for every HUD element. I know this will take a lot of work, but the result is super cool. The only thing left to do now is add some Q particles with a particle system, maybe a flare, and voila, you are done. We have a trampoline! B-roll edit. <laughs> okay, that's an anti-climax. <laughs> Here it is! A trampoline! Moink! So the whole reason why we're getting this trampoline is because we need a shot where I kind of fly through the air and it wasn't really possible to do that from jumping from a ladder or just jumping from flats. So we need this momentum where I actually go up in the air and I'm gonna hope that this trampoline is gonna help with that. Oh, this is fun. Okay, fun is over, I'm bored. <laughs> Here I come. Uh, I'm always thinking about the neighbors here. What are they thinking? Are the goofs from Cinecom fooling again? Yes, we are. It's a wrap! Transition! Yeah. Now for the effect where our talent is flying through the air. Like Jordi said, we bought a trampoline for this. And this is purely to create momentum for our flying talent, making him jump higher and longer. Now once you're ready to jump, place your camera super low to the ground, aim upwards and let your talent jump through the shot. Now once again we shot everything in slow motion making it more epic. And if you have the possibility I would recommend you also do this. And that was it for the shot so let's start with the post production. Okay we again have the same beginning steps as before. We placed our empty in a composition together with our talent clip. Then again rotoscoped our talent and enhanced this movement with animating the position of our talent making him fly even further through the air. First, let's create a clone trial behind him. We pre-composed the rotoscope talent clip, duplicated it a few times, and then we freeze frame the duplicates every other 10 frames. So the first duplicate clip on frame 0, the second duplicate on frame 10, and so on. Of course, we also shortened every duplicate to the point where we freeze framed it, adjusted the opacity to around 10, and animated to 0 over time, making the clone disappear slowly. Next, let's adjust the colors of every duplicate with the tritone effect. Of course, you can choose whatever color you like. Then we selected every duplicate and pre-composed them. For this new pre-comp, we adjusted the blending mode to add, and voila, we have a neon clone trial. But that's not it. Now we can start with creating a cloud behind our talent. We added a solid layer with a CC particle system on it. We played around with the settings until we had a particle stream that was going one direction with almost no velocity, slowly falling down and fading out towards the end. Now a very important thing is that the particles need to be blue to match the look and feel of Space Jam. Then we are going to distort the particles by adding a directional blur to it with a huge blur length. Of course, adjust the direction to whatever angle you need. Next up, we're gonna duplicate the solid layer with the particles and adjust the color of the particles to a color red. Then we selected both particle clips and pre-compose them. Immediately duplicate the pre-comp and set the blending mode of the lower particles to color burn and the blending mode of the top particles to add. And this will leave you with a cool line cloud and a clone trial behind our actor. The last step is adding some glowing lines, which we easily created with animated strokes. We gave them some glow and created as much lines as we wanted. 
And last but not least, we also added this energy glow around our ball. And this we did with a saber effect. However, we also had to do an extra rotoscope of our talent's hand that covered the ball. This way the hand would stay in front of the energy, making the energy more realistic. And that's it. That's how you can slam dunk like LeBron and Space Jam. Big thanks for watching guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video more than the movie itself. Big thanks to Storyblocks for the support and as always, stay creative. For example, your talent can... Look at base of your bed! Pro basketball. I'm pro sexy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.